Pisces, my love, my darlings, how are you doing and how are you coping? I can see there's been something difficult that's happened, okay? That's why I said, my love, my darling, what is going on? Because I can see tension, okay? First card's coming out. If this is for you, let me know. Hit that like before we shuffle again. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. This is a massive change in your life. You really tried to move towards something that was forever and the next level in your life, your career, a job opportunity, a new house. You really tried, but something's fallen short. Something's happened. You're feeling really defeated. You feel betrayed, stabbed in the back. Yeah, maybe you was in a new relationship and it's come to an end because you're on your own again, you feel. Stay with me. Don't worry, okay? I feel like someone getting upset. I feel a lot of emotion bottled up and heavy in this reading because you're on your own again. You're on your own again. That's what I'm hearing. You're never on your own because you always have God. You always have spirit and you always have yourself. You are special. You are important. You are valid. Trust in you and your journey, please. If God's left you alone at this time, because that's, that's where you're meant to be. The power is in you. Yeah? The world card. Yeah, you're closing out an old cycle. Your life's changing forever. Someone is there for you, you know. Okay. Someone is there for you, but they're toxic. Okay. Okay. Do you know what God is asking you to do? I'm so sorry to deliver this message in this way, right? The reason that this isn't working... It's because you've got toxic people in your life, toxic influences in your life. If you just had a new relationship, a new home, a new opportunity, something brand new that was coming towards you, who was around you, family and friends, who was around you in your network, something falls to the ground and crumbles every time these people get near it, get near you. The moment you start telling these people your business, stuff goes wrong. It's like a jinx energy, a bad luck charm. We have good luck charms. It looks like you have a bad luck charm. One of your closest friends, one of your best friends, one of your allies, someone around you, every time they get near you again, your good luck turns to bad luck instantly. This person acts like they love you all the time. Narcissistic energy. I'm getting a knight of cups, the devil, love bombs you. Always messages you at the right time to suck on your energy. Always gifts blocking your blessings, always gifting you something you didn't ask for, acting like they care about you, but they're blocking your happiness and sunshine because you feel like you owe this person something. Your destiny is realising um, the toxic relationships in your life that you don't need. Hold on, the cats are crying to go outside. Sorry, hold on. Okay, back to where we were. Your destiny lies in your escape. Escape this situation that you've been stuck in and trapped in it is a toxic cycle. Whatever caused this breakdown, this upset, this mental health, this loss of money, this loss in career, this loss at your job, is someone around you that you know that acts like they love you so much, but every time you spend time with them, bad luck follows. You have a bad luck charm very close to you who continues to ruin your life. I'm so sorry to be the one to deliver this news to you. If, you, if what I'm saying doesn't set, ring true and there isn't this bad jinx energy that always happens around you, when you're around someone, then fair enough. Ignore it. The click off now and just go to another reading. That's for, I've got loads of collective readings and loads of other channels with different kind of stuff, okay? Please do check it out. I'm never kicking you away. But I wouldn't want you to listen if you don't outwardly know because I wouldn't want you to start judging people around you and thinking it's, it's them. Someone love bombs you all the time. It doesn't look like it is a relationship it looks like you've lost the relationship you've lost love have you been talking to someone about a guy that you're dating a girl that you're dating you've been telling someone your business and they've been giving you advice you've been taking their advice on and you've ruined your relationship because you're listening to this person this person doesn't care about you this person cares about them they call you to talk about them or to hear your stuff in life to have someone to talk to this person doesn't love you they don't know love this person is devil energy with the Knight of Cups. They're narcissistic as fuck. They're abusive as fuck. They're disingenuous as fuck. They're not real. They're horrible. But they don't act that way. 
And they make you feel special, they buy you things, they treat you nice, they take you out, they give you money, buy you things, spoil you. Manipulation. That's a narcissist technique. They treat you real nice when they want to. Because they need a supply. Narcissists need a supply. They need someone to feed on. They need to eat. They starve without love from someone else or someone else loving them. Yeah? This is the kind of person that's never alone, can't be alone, would do anything else other than be by themselves. Because being alone is painful. Being alone makes you have to think about yourself. Being alone makes you learn who you are. Being alone makes you be a warrior in your spirit and fry, strive for more in life. This person doesn't know what it means to be alone. So they use anyone around them, use money and whatever they have. This situation is going to change your life for the better. You will finally start to heal and finally start to realise what's been going on in your life. What's been going on around you? What's the bad luck that you've been having in your life? What influences do you have in your life that have really prevented you from having justice in love, in money, in career? Because whatever you've had in your life, it's been very toxic, yeah? Real toxic energy in your life, around you all the time. A really close toxic energy all around you, yeah? Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. It's really blocked your blessings and stopped you seeing who you are because this person's been living for you or you've been living by this person's word. Friend, best friend, close friend, family member. Really negative energy. Six of Pentacles, they're always giving to you. Always, They're really committed to you. They're always there for you. They always make you feel happy again and tell you the right thing. They always have enough money to make things better. They always can dive in and save the day. They're always there to make your heart be that way again. They like sadness and like, I don't know how to explain this. Every time you have a new beginning, an opportunity in love, they slowly get you to walk away from it or see the negative in it or get you to move towards something more toxic in a way of thinking. And they always have you waiting around as well. The moon energy, they always have you hanging around, doing what they do, running errands with them. You're always moving around with them, which makes them very happy, but you're wasting your time. They're using your energy, your time. They're, go and look at narcissistic supply. This person is a narcissist and they are just eating away at your energy. And they have done for at least the last two years solid. Wrapped up in you and your time and your happiness and all your business and your money. If you're really, really broken, struggling right now, right? And you haven't given any money to this person, this person's giving you money. That's your bad luck charm. Someone gives you money, so you've got more money than you had before, but then you're broker than before. How's that working? Why is your life turning upside down all the time when this person says they're helping you? This person's magically helping you, right? But then your life gets worse every time. Maybe that's not what you think it is. Maybe that's narcissistic abuse. Maybe that's a real toxic vibration covered in light. People wear masks. People are not who they say they are. I've gone through a long journey to discover who people really are and what they say on the surface. Not everyone loves you. People love bomb. Yeah? People love bomb. Yeah? Simple as that. And it's hard to understand because I can come over here and say, I love you, I love you. I'm very loving. But understand how you know the difference between a love bomber and a not love bomber. If you, if that, when that, ignore that person loving on you for a minute and look at them and say do they really love themselves what are they doing for their self mind body and soul and what way are they really loving them because they've got a lot of time to love me what are they doing to love themselves how much time do they spend by themselves what are they doing to empower themselves how are they living their life how have they long been living their lives because that's how you see the difference because someone who love bombs you all the time when you pull back the layers and you start asking them questions about their life and about them and what's going on with them, they ain't got no answers. 
They ain't got no, they've got nothing going on other than what they're showing on the surface and presenting to you. Internally, they're not healed. They're not working on themselves. They don't want to address certain issues. They swerve it. They bring the conversation back round to you. But loads of people do that because they're loving and giving. They haven't got stuff to say about themselves. But in, I, I can't teach. There's, there's no way I even have enough time to do this reading and teach you the difference. And I hate people labelling narcissism in the wrong way or even seeing it as um, a negative thing because we all have negative traits. This is the yin and yang channel. We all have dark and light. No one is immune, yeah? We can all go through stages of loving someone and not loving someone. Being, If you're happy, you're, you're in a in good energy, you're going to give off love. If you're negative energy, you're going to give off a shitty, I'm not in a, leave me alone today, I'm pissed off, right? Fair enough. That's truth. That's some real vibration. That's sincere energy. But there's a difference when someone has this tactile, manipulative approach and this energy they show on the surface, but surely that can't be true. And you're going to see little cracks in the surface that go, wait, that don't make sense. And if this person don't ever crack, don't show you any other side to them, it's always this one linear way of being, which is always happy and perfect, then where's the other side to you, please? Please let me know there's more to you. Is there another side? Difficult for me because I'm neurodiverse, I'm atypical, and I've got 20 million sides. So I'm very out there, different. I will cry, scream, shout, dance, tap dance, um, Harlem shuffle, twerk, do the worm on the floor, and then get up and cry. Because I'm neuro as fuck. So it's hard for me to even explain all this, and I'm clairvoyant and spiritually gifted, so even worse, to break down what I'm seeing. We're all different is the point. Everyone has different capacities. Everyone's got anxiety, depression, PTSD, different neurodiverse abilities, special needs and disabilities in different ways from a little tiny bit to a hell of a lot, which makes our brains work differently, mind, body and soul. Our cognition, our well-being, our happiness, our hearts, they work different. Our family upbringing, our partners, our lovers, the people we choose to date, how we raise our kids and families, the relationship we have with family, kids, friends and other, the way we grow, who we become, how we become who we are, what we do for a living, how we outwardly express ourselves, all comes from that. You need to go cold turkey from probably absolutely everyone in your circle and you need to go on a hermit mold journey. That's what you need to do. Because whoever's been in your circle and around you, d yeah, take a risk, go alone. Because you need to heal by yourself. And it'll be really funny to see who starts ringing you up and trying to get your attention and get close to you because they're going to be lacking a supply. This person's going to be craving your energy and they're going to need someone to eat off of. You ever spoken to this person on the phone and you just feel totally drained afterwards? And you're just like, oh, I can't take this. They just changed my whole mood. Now I'm in a bad energy. Yeah? Toxic. So you just talk to someone on the phone and afterwards you just got toxic energy. Toxic energy, toxic energy, toxic energy. Yeah? You've got to be brave enough to end this cycle of toxic um, energy that you let inside your life. You've got to get your beauty back and feel good about yourself again because you're not... You've got to get your yin and yang back. You've got to remember what it likes to date people again. Nice people, new people, not people from your circle. Brand new loving relationships. Not only that, you need to balance out um, the money that you have. Start getting a savings pot together and um, a household living expenses pot together as well. Balance out your spends. You need to speak about what you've learned as well. Speak to someone you trust and love. Start going hermit cards out. Start hermiting. Start making new plans. Vision boarding, self-love, affirmations. Go over to the Her 7D Consciousness channel linked at the homepage and um, start looking at the affirmations and the positive messages and the love and the um, love letters to and from the divine masculine yeah where you can dive into what is the masculine in in me saying what is the feminine in me saying just energy chi yin and yang so if you want to attract the right masculine in your life or the right feminine in your life does those stories resonate with you they are what I call, like to call channeled messages, a little bit of quantum poetry. We're just diving into masculine and feminine um, stories. 
and just letting our hearts go what would the masculine say what the what would the feminine say where are we at in our hearts and what is the communication of my soul at this time right i'm a big hippie i just love chi and energy and just playing with the vibration of yin and yang so that's what that's about and that's supposed to bring you healing with your either side of yourself your light and dark your yin and yang your masculine and feminine yeah your principles of of chi and energy mastery go and get some books on well-being mental health go and get a book on narcissistic personality narcissistic abuse start studying start protecting yourself start protecting you from bad curses and bad energies and obia around you it's not heavy but the person around you knows all about that darkness because they are a walking talking ball of darkness yeah so wake up pay attention and move on from that toxicity because your life looks great on the other side of this and i'll be back soon with more okay love and light